Well, 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 good morning, West Ham fans. Happy Saturday. Now, are West Ham offering a cut of the old boys some new deals? Welcome everybody, happy Saturday, hope your weekend is going well, your West Ham free weekend, enjoy it while you can, I've got a list as long as my arm of things I've got to do for Mrs Budden, um, hey, keep it clean, uh, around the house, DIY jobs, cleaning jobs, oh it's going to be fun, what a fun day, what a fun weekend I have, thank you West Ham, thank you international break, anyway, so um, there's been some, some chatter over the last few days about contracts, um, Ben Johnson we'll be talking about in terms of the likelihood is he's not going he's we're not going to agree on a contract for him uh despite the club offering a decent deal um it looks like the law of maybe first team football regular first team football um is enough to maybe go to Crystal Palace which seems the most likely uh, there's a few other tenuous links as we said about um Spurs as well. Um, I think that's a little bit of lazy journalism just because of Ledley King. Can't see how Ben Johnson, unless also, that's the thing is, he is a homegrown player. So that does make him of interest, particularly on a free transfer. He could be a squad player in a number of different squads as a homegrown player. However, um, West Ham have a number of play, other players out of contract, like Savaron Cresswell. Um, and people like that. Two players who are apparently um, contracts coming to the end in the summer are Lucas Fabianski and Angelo Ogbonna. Now, according to ex-WHU employee, he says that West Ham are hoping to tie down the two veteran players to contract extensions this summer. Um, now, Obviously, there's still a lot to play for coming into the coming to the end of the season. We're still sort of seventh in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Still a lot to play in this last sort of third of the season. Um, and obviously, there's a lot of various players seeing their contracts expire and depart. There's a couple of the youngsters as well. We'll soon probably start getting the releases uh, or rumblings of who we're going to be releasing in the academy as well, as we've got a lot of players starting to um, get pro deals we've seen a few players actually go and do trials at qpr tyronic pata and Simone. i think have gone to qpr so we know kenny brown's son lewis has has been doing a few trials at west ham because he's not going to get his contract renewed at arsenal for under 18s um so there's all this sort of contract news coming up um now well according to i'll read what x said so uh, X says that West Ham are planning talks with Lucas Fabianski and Angelo Bonner with both likely to be offered one year extensions to their current deal. Fabianski has really impressed the club this season despite being in the number two goalkeeper role. He's a modern profession, model professional and it's understood he loves being at West Ham with his family very settled. The same is being said of Angelo Bonner who the club will hope to secure for another year, although it's likely to be on a lesser wage than his existing contract. So let's look at them two differently. For me, let's talk about Fabianski. I think it's a perfect idea to give Fabianski a one-year extension to his contract. Um, he has, I think, after that slight wobble, at the beginning of the season, if you remember when he was dropped for the Premier League squads, or from maybe 11, um, by Moyes, he was he took to, was it Le Monde? Or someone like that, he did a interview saying he thought he was poorly treated. Since then, he's taken it on chin, and I think he's a, he's a fan, he is, I don't think you can get a better, I don't think we have a, a better number two goalkeeper in the Premier League, at all. I think he's a phenomenal number two goalkeeper to have, and in fact, you've got two number you've got you've got two goalkeepers who could both be number ones in the majority of the say from the top six, top five downwards. They wouldn't be out of place in any of those sides um, as their starting goalkeeper. So I think that's bang on. Also, you've got to look at the progression. So we've got you know 
Personally, I don't think Nathan Trott's going to make going to make it at West Ham. He's back out on loan at Rij BZ, the um, Danish Super League side. Um, he was with them last season. They got promoted into the top division. He's playing with them, playing pretty much all the games. Joseph and Nang, just don't think he's getting in it. He'll get uh, that sort of number two spot. I think the most likely people are from the ones the sort of the the crop below, where we've got Christian Heggie, who's currently at Den Bosch in the Danish second league, and Jacob Knightsbridge. Jacob Knightsbridge, who was on the bench, he was in the matchday squad um, for the last the last home game, I think it was. Um, both of them, and then you've got Finley Herrick as well. Um, You've got some very, very good goalkeepers in and around that sort of 18-21 squad. But I think they're, I think Heggie's probably a year or two out from being that number two goalkeeper. You know, Fabianzi goes out on loan. Fabianzi so stays for one more season. Heggie goes out on loan again. He, he he played really well when he was at Stevenage as well um, at the beginning of this season as well before he, then Den Bosch took him on. Another season, comes back for the 25-26 season, Ariola number one, Heggy number two, and then Jacob Knightbridge number three. And obviously Jacob still playing, would we'll, we'll be then, you know, turning it all the time for the 21s. I think that's perfect. That's a succession plan. That's, that's long-term booking. That's long-term planning. That makes sense. Angela Bonawan, I'm not so sure about, in all honesty. Yes, he's been a great servant to the club. Yes, he had a, purple patch where he had two or three games where he was very strong and very good but before then he had a, he's had a couple of poor games before then uh, there was one point where there was in back-to-back -back European games he made mistakes um, he's a great guy to have around but is that a detriment of not bringing through a song for the academy or, or buying a younger player I'm not too sure the fact he's on lesser wages um, is a good thing and shows what he's going to be, his role. His role will be, you know, back up to the backup, back up to the assistant to the backup. Um, and if it's to be around the team, team morale, I, I don't see that being an issue. But I, we've got some really good centre-halves coming through, particularly the academy. And I'm thinking next year, you know, a, a, a head coach, whether it is Mr. Moyes or whether it is someone else. We've got an abundance of really good talent which could fill in that void, as well as I think we need to go out and buy some decent centre-halves as well, some newer centre-halves, some younger centre-halves. So maybe Ogbonna could be the person there to um, transition them into the, the West Ham way, so to speak. We've lost that, I think, as a as a club, particularly with someone like Aaron Cresswell leaving in the summer. That's nine, ten years of experience there. Uh, after that, the, probably the next one would be Oggy, wouldn't it? Oggy and Fab or, actually, Fabianski then Oggy, in terms of being at the club for the longest amount of time. So keeping a little bit of continuity going, particularly if there is a change of head coach. I don't think it's a bad thing, but I don't want him to be playing, if that makes sense. So if it's not a, not like an ambassadorial role, but I just think he's at his time, and I think there's there's we need to move on. I think there's one of the reasons why we have one of the oldest squads in the Premier League is for this exact reason. We're hanging on to these players. Yes, we're getting rid of, you know, we get rid of someone like Cresswell, but also we're going to get rid of someone like Ben Johnson. Now Ben Johnson could come in and do that Ugbonna role as well as doing the left back role, the right back role, and yet the money spent on him you could have given to Ben Johnson who's younger, he's homegrown, he's academy grown as well, a lot more ticker boxes. So I find it a bit strange with Oggy, unless it's for a continuity perspective. Where before, we, you know, I remember Ginge, Ginge's on nine years and we never offered him that 10th year to get his testimonial. So it's weird how sometimes we do sort of keep, and the only reason why he's got this year now, in terms of Ogbonna, is because we uh, he was injured, weren't he? And they gave him that extra year to because he was injured previously. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm, I'll be fascinated to know. Am I being a bit of a grouch about that? Um, am I not showing enough loyalty to Angelo Bonner? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble. Keep the faith, my friends. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch my, um, my Hammers 11 with uh, Jamie Porter, Essex cricketer. Um, extraordinaire who's currently in Abu Dhabi actually no I think he's back home now 
that you fly back today, um, doing pre-season training ahead of Essex's um, county cricket uh, season, which kicks off in two weeks' time, away to Notts, uh, the first game. Um, and uh, also, just to mark your card, next week, big My Hammers 11 interview coming on. Big. Huge. Huge for West Ham. Huge for Russ. One of my My Hammers 11 are being interviewed. So take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble, keep the faith, come with your bloody irons, See you later, potato, Robbie Slater.